Hello Kevin, big fan of all your content. Your guides help me learn a lot. I know I don't execute them perfectly, but hey, why should I? If I'm a 4.4k EU brain dead Protoss player who has been touched inappropriately by roaches too many times. I play different styles. Clave Adepts, DTs, Blink DTs, Stargate, two base all ins, but all of them have one thing in common. The bug on the other side of the map just holds the R button for too long and kills me no matter what I do. This game I have a near perfect build up to 6 minutes, losing nothing early, staying ahead of my opponent's eco the entire game while I scout my opponent perfectly and I'm able to pick up a few drones here and there with oracles without losing them, don't forget about that, he doesn't lose his oracles, what a micro god. Hell, I even expect a roach attack from him and he walks up in the worst possible choke, but it doesn't matter because the roach printer pumps out so many units, I just can't deal with it. Much love, Brady. The title of this is Roach Pinter Go Brrrr. Welcome to Is It Imba or Do I Suck? Where today we will be investigating whether roaches are overpowered or if Brady sucks. Now, it's a very difficult question to answer usually. Um, but it's just the main, the main claim that I want to be looking at is the first six minutes, right? He says, I played the first six minutes near perfect, which... I have pretty high standards for near perfect, so let's have a look at exactly how near perfect uh, it is what he's truly doing here. So he's playing against SRBS, he's a Zerg player, seems to be uh, aware of what is the proper opening here. Now, gas first coming out of Brady, which is completely fine if you're not scouting, it allows you to get slightly more gas rather than... Uh, rather than getting more minerals or sending out a scout because the moment your gas finishes usually you get an extra worker so it, right now you can rally it straight into the gas usually you want full saturation on the minerals so you don't need the gas as early if this probe would go across the map to scout i hope that made some sense um it's gonna be a no scout and this opening all looks pretty tidy i i love it i love it overlords flying across the map we have a, a wall that actually looks like it might wall something. So, you know, already big improvements uh, being made over the guy from last week who I think forgot to wall for, what was it? The first eight or nine minutes of the game. So we're already seeing some resemblance of an actual video game, which is nice to see. You know, it's nice every once in a while to see a game where at least the first one minute and 33 seconds seem somewhat normal. I do have to admit that the core is a little late, which means this gate must have been a little late as well. This is a full wall, it doesn't look like it, but it is. Um, it speaks how the rocks work. I believe it is at least, and we'll figure it out later otherwise. Moves to the watchtower, gets a second pylon at an appropriate timing. So maybe the first six minutes aren't near perfect, but at least the first two minutes are indeed absolutely fantastic. and. I am starting to get this weird feeling in my stomach, boys. This might be the week. This might be the week where we figure out that the roaches are actually overpowered. Because this guy, he seems to be right. I mean, he's doing everything correct so far. This is the perfect game. Um, okay, he's getting warp gate before any tech. He's not getting any tech. Okay, warp gate before tech. Even this, I don't mind. This could be a trick. Tricking your opponent. Hey, look, I'm getting warp gate before, star before any tech. This, this is not Stargate. So it's, it's a little bit of a trick. I don't mind that. I don't mind that at all. Stalker as a second unit makes sense. Almost constant pro production. Man, this actually is looking good. We're three minutes in game and we might actually have to approve his claim that this is the best six minutes that is possible. This opponent scouting around the map. This, uh, this is a good level game. It's very weird that sometimes I watch like the 4k players and they play like they're you know, it's like they're playing Red Alert or something. Like, I've never seen a game like they uh, apparently play on a daily basis. And then this guy is also 4.4. It's playing a fantastic early game. Nothing wrong here. Forgets his Oracle for a little bit. So that's not quite perfect. But yeah, it's on the way. It's maybe 10 seconds late or so. Honestly, I'm not too disappointed so far here, my friend. I'm not too disappointed so far. We have... Uh, no chrono boost on the workers though. I wouldn't mind seeing one or two extra chrono boost on the workers. Um, get a little more probe, get a little more money. I think a second gate usually is necessary as well. Third gas is too fast. Um, so, okay, plays Oracle Phoenix. A lot of the time when you're going to be playing Oracle Phoenix, it's better to play Adept, 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 rather than Adept Stalker. Adept, because the Phoenix 
basically does what your stalker does and that's denying scouting so there's no real use in uh, in getting that stalker in that case get a robo relatively quickly a third base as well i mean this is a bit of an old build order but it's still a build order of some sort so first four minutes near perfect i I, I wouldn't mind that. I, I, I think we can agree on that actually. Phoenix is getting some kills as well. He got some kills with this Oracle. Like the start here is looking absolutely fantastic. I'm, I'm getting afraid that we might have to approve his first claim. Of the almost perfect first six minutes. Okay, here's a big supply block. Oh, this is a painful supply block as well because this is with the second Oracle. That's a little painful. Okay, it's, it's not near perfect. It's not that difficult to not get supply block gets a forge if he gets a twilight yeah the, the build order here makes a lot of sense this is very close to what i recommended to casually explain as well to do um it's one of the better build orders whenever this is a mistake it should always be right in the little nook over here or over here and he still gets a pretty decent trade here i'm happy with that he continues his worker production he is not getting an observer or an immortal. This actually is a huge error because you want to be seeing what your opponent is doing as fast as possible with that observer. And ready right now, yeah, this is really late. Okay, so this is this is actually kind of a big mistake. Also, not having the second oracle yet is kind of annoying. Um, general lack of map vision. I mean, the adepts are really not doing anything. They could be um, either holding this tower over here. Or the adepts could be uh, trying to do some damage on the other side, perhaps move to this tower, uh, clear creep over here, or maybe in unison with these two oracles, try and do some damage. Um, he's not doing any of that, which I'm not a massive fan of. Now, we actually are seeing a lot of money floating right now, so um, it, it is not perfect. Let's be real here. Um, we're gonna pause at six minutes and do a small mid-game review. We don't usually do that, but I, I think he made such a strong claim on the first six minutes being near perfect that I, I think we're just gonna have a look at the state of the game at six minutes. So, mid-game review. Ding, da, da, ding, 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 ding. That's the theme song for the mid-game review. I made it myself just now. We have an observer staying at home not scouting anything he's been at home for quite some time at least 28 seconds now you could say how do you know he's been here 28 seconds couldn't it be a chrono boost on the robo and the observer has only been at home for what 20 seconds or 18 no because we see chrono boost hasn't really been used at all uh, whatsoever i mean it could be possible in theory but i don't think our our, our, our main character the protagonist has been uh using chrono boost so that's another mistake no scouting, no chrono boosting on probes, no chrono boosting on upgrades. Um, near perfect game, but floating 1200 minerals. Near perfect game, but floating 460 gas. Near perfect game, but not producing workers from one of your next eye. Harass has been pretty okay. He killed six workers and a couple of links, I think. Uh, he's actually up in workers, which he said he was, but he's he should be at least up to six gates by now he should probably have gas uh, five and six on the way if you actually follow the proper build order um were the first six minutes near perfect the answer is no definitely no let's continue um so the first claim has kind of been disproven uh, lots of money floating um, lots of chrono floating not constant pro production poor scouting so these are the first three points we have sim city here looks pretty terrible you want to be walling off part of your nexus not the entire part of your nexus because now imagine the zerg positions himself over here all these gates are going to be free real estate for him where he just can kill them and you can't move through this choke you're creating a massive choke for yourself so most of the time you only build one or you build two gates so you have a lot of space for your army to move through to defend those gateways as well if necessary so you say you scouted roaches or you knew they were coming, but you haven't really seen that much. Um, you don't really seem prepared either. The scouting info you have so far is that he didn't take the gases on his third base, and you know nothing about the main base. And then all of a sudden, what is it, 20 roaches show up? 14 roaches and 6 ravagers? You have a single immortal? Like, this is not quite what you want. Now, in this kind of situation, we look at the response. What is the, the panic response here from our Protoss player, Brady? Now, he should be getting 
Void Rays should be Chrono Boost. He should be getting Immortals should be Chrono Boost. Perhaps a battery here or there. Perhaps a cannon. M using your Warpins as efficiently as possible. Using your Oracles to target down Ravagers because that gives a... They give a more damage to Ravagers. None of these things is happening. Instead he builds a Prism, which is definitely a wrong call. But this Roach Boost actually gets completely destroyed. Even though a lot of the responses weren't very clean. He didn't really scout it and he wasn't ready. He still managed to completely destroy the Roach Boost. Which, you know, is a good thing. So now what you would think is... Well, you keep your Observer here and you see more Roaches coming. What is the response to more Roaches coming? Probably Immortals. Probably an extra cannon. Probably uh, a Void Ray. Warping in units, not getting supply lot, not floating 2k minerals. All of these things are, are usually quite good to do. Especially the not floating, well, at this point, 2.5k resources, basically. Um, as we see, in a response to floating this many resources, he builds gateways. Now it's easy to say, well, you don't need this many gateways on 3 base, which probably is true, but in this case it's better to invest into into something than into nothing. I'm just gonna go back into the replay, I'm sorry. Because... Okay. He has a good position here. All he needs to do is force field the ramp. You know? One, two, three. Doesn't happen. Biles. Just standing in the biles. Do you see that? He just attacks his own stalker here. So first of all, he misses his force field. He attacks his own stalker. He stands in the biles. If he just puts down three force fields, this game is completely over again. Even if he just gets a single void rate, this game is really, really good for him. I feel like there are so many things here that Dreddy already could have been improving on that his first six minutes weren't good, but minutes six till 8.30 were quite awful, honestly. Um, with negative micro we, we call it negative micro in the pro scene when someone micro something but it would have been better left unmicro and I think in Brady this might be the case because whatever he's doing with his unit seems to actually make them perform worse than I thought was possible um, all the while floating 2.3k resources losing a third base um, at this point the game is pretty over Brady has shot a shot he he has, he has lost his third base, he's lost some probes. There's not much he can do anymore. At this point, Brady is fuming at all. He's boiling, his head is becoming all red, and he's probably screaming to his friends that are watching him play live, because he told them he's so good at this video game. I swear, guys, I'm very good at just the roaches. <laughs> Meanwhile, the other guy playing with one hand, injecting with his eyes closed, a moving roach across the map. And our boy, our boy Brady calls GG. Not Brady. Brady, Brady, Brady. Brady, 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 Brady. I kind of want to have a quick look at the email again. Pew, flashback. What did we read? Uh, the bug on the other side of the map just holds the R button for too long and kills me no matter what I do. This game, I have a near perfect build up to six minutes. Losing nothing early. Staying ahead of my opponent's eco the entire game. While I scout my opponent perfectly okay so first of all you might have scouted your opponent perfectly you did see the roach warren actually you didn't even see the main base you didn't know the drone count you didn't know how many gases he was on um and actually just scouting perfectly even if you had which i think you had enough information to know something aggressive was coming you saw less than six gas only four usually indicates roach aggression or ling bane aggression or just pure ling aggression um so you saw this the problem is you don't react like, you scouted it, and you didn't react. That's not a very good thing to do in life. That is not a very good thing to do in life. You're the kind of guy that stands on the side of the road, and you see, like, a car coming your way, and you go, oh, there's a car coming my way. It's like, oh, that, that looks kind of dangerous. And you just keep standing there until the car hits you, and then you complain in the hospital, oh, what was I supposed to do? Like, I knew he was coming, but... He's like, well, yeah, if you know the car is coming, you move to the side, you idiot. Same here in StarCraft. You scout the roaches are coming, and you just jump in front of the car. This is the wrong move. What you're supposed to do, you're supposed to get immortals, get your cannons, get your batteries, get your... Spend your money in general. Void race for all I care. Um, you macro pretty terribly. 
you forgot to force field the ramp. Um, your Oracle control is pretty good. I'll give you that. I liked your Oracle control. I, I did like your first six minutes, except for the fact that your gateways were too late. Um, but yeah, honestly, just no micro. Um, not enough units. Macro too poor. Are roaches Imba? No, they're not. You just really suck, my friend. That's the reality of the case. All right, everyone. Thanks so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel up here. If you want to see more videos like this, go here. If you want to see my latest video, go here. Also, I have social media in this corner. Twitter, my Patreon, and my Twitch, which I'll be streaming daily from around 4 p.m. Central European summertime till about 9. And in the weekends, usually a little less, but check it out if you want to. And see you all next time. Bye-bye.